Hi, my name's Zoe. This is just a, a short 20 minute sequence, which is really nice for stretching out through the outer hips, the glutes, and the iliotibial bands. Let's get started. Let's start by lying down onto our backs. Extend the legs out and take your arms out by the sides with the palms facing down and the shoulder height. We're going to start with the right leg. Draw the right knee out towards the right elbow. Inhale, then draw it across the body. Take it towards the left elbow. And then from here, extend the right leg out. Flex the foot, toes pull back. And then we exhale, sweep the leg down. It's a circular action, so we inhale, draw the leg out. Bring it across the body. Try not to let the thigh move away from the chest, rather with the knee drawing up, just extend from the knee. Flex the foot, exhale, sweep the leg down. Three more, inhale. Reach and extend the leg, exhale, sweep it down. Two more, inhale, draw the leg out. Keep the knee bent as you bring it across. Then reach and extend through the right heel. Exhale, sweep it down. Once more, inhale. Exhale as you extend the leg out and sweep it down. Let's change directions. So we bend the right leg, draw it up towards the left elbow. Keep the knee bent as you take it out towards the right elbow. Then same thing, try not to let the thigh move away, but more so extend from the knee. Reach and extend that right leg out. Toes turn down, heel turns up, and we sweep the leg down. Four more. Inhale, bend the leg, draw it up towards the left elbow, across towards the right elbow. Exhale, extend out. Toes turn down, heel turns up. Sweep the leg down. Inhale. Exhale. Two more. Inhale. As you reach and extend that right leg out, try to keep that left thigh pressing down. Try not to let it lift. Exhale. Last one. Inhale. And exhale, sweep it down. Bend the legs, just readjust the hips. Lower the legs back down. Extend the legs out. Let's do the same thing on the left side. Inhale, draw the left knee up towards the left elbow. Draw it across towards the right elbow. Then reach and extend through the left heel. Exhale, sweep the leg down. Nice circular action. Inhale, draw the leg up. Bring it across. Then reach and extend out of the knee. Exhale, sweep the leg down. Three more, inhale, nice big circles. Exhale, reach out of that left knee, sweep it down. Two more, inhale, reach and extend. Exhale, last one, inhale, reach and extend. You should feel a nice stretch through the outer hip. Exhale, sweep it down. Changing directions, draw the left knee across the body. Keep the knee bent, draw it up towards the right elbow. Then bring it across towards the left elbow. Extend from the knee, toes turn down, heel turns up. Sweep the leg down. Inhale, draw it across. Reach out, really extend through the left heel. Toes turn down, heel turns up as you sweep the leg down. Three more, inhale. Really try to keep that right thigh down. Extend the left leg out, sweep it down. Two more. Inhale. Reach it out. Try to reach the foot up towards the hands. Exhale, sweep the leg down. Last one. Draw it up. Reach the left leg across. Reach out of the heel. Toes turn down, heel turns up, and then sweep that left leg down. Bend the legs and readjust the hips. Coming into a twist, draw the right leg up, bring it across the body, lift the left leg and try to wrap the right foot underneath the left leg like Garo dust in the legs. If you can't quite bind the legs, it's fine to just have the foot to the side. For those of you who can, wrap the foot underneath. Again with the arms out by the sides, 
inhale, exhale as we take the knees towards the left side. Now it's really important here that we don't just drop to the side and let the hip and back arch. You want to try to keep the hips reaching down. We keep the length through the lower back and reach the knee out of the hip as much as you can. Inhale, lift up. And exhale, knees towards the right. Same thing here. Try not to just drop into the lower back. Keep the belly drawing back, belly button towards the spine. And really think of the knee reaching out of that hip socket. Inhale to lift up. Two more on each side. Exhale, knees to the left. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, the knees to the right. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, knees to the left. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, the knees to the right. Gently come back up through centre, release the legs, readjust the hips and then change sides. So extend the left leg up, draw it across the body, wrap the legs around. Again, if you can't wrap the legs, just have the foot to the side, that's absolutely fine. Start by taking the knees to the right first. Inhale, exhale, take the knees towards the right. Again, keep the belly button drawing back. Inhale to lift up. Exhale, knees to the left. Really try to reach that thigh out of the hip socket. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, knees to the right. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, knees to the left. One more time each side. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, knees to the right. Inhale, lift up, exhale, knees to the left. Inhale, lift up, and gently uncross the legs, readjust the hips, then just hug the knees in towards the chest. Now you can either roll to your right hand side and push yourself up to sitting, or very lightly rock up. Crossing the feet. We want to come into a nice closed cross leg position. So you can start by extending the legs out. Draw the right foot back and bring it underneath the left knee. So the shin is parallel to the front edge of your mat. We don't try to draw the foot in underneath the thigh, but we keep the foot underneath that left knee, flexing that right foot. Then all we do is we just draw the left leg across to join and the shins are then stacked in top of each other we've got a nice triangle shape in between the legs take the hands behind you just shift the hips back slightly and then sit up lengthen out of the waist it might be enough for you to stay here otherwise we'll inhale and exhale as we'll fold forward keep the arms extending really important that we don't round into the lower back we focus on reaching through the center of the chest inhale to lengthen exhale fold just go to wherever is comfortable for you and keep the arms extending or bring the upper arms in front of the shins and gently with the upper arms pulling back into the shins reach the chest forward five Four, three, two, one. Inhale to lift up. Extend the legs and let's change the cross of the legs. So with your legs out straight, draw the left foot back, bring it underneath the right knee. So the shin is parallel to the front edge of your mat. Again, we're not drawing the foot in, we're flexing the foot and we're trying to make the shin parallel. Then just draw the right leg across. Adjust the hips if you need to. You've got that nice little triangle shape in between the legs and the shins are parallel. And just take the hands behind you and just shift the hips back slightly. And then inhale, lift and open the chest. Staying here if you're feeling any strain in the knee joints, it's quite tight in the hips. Those of you who can, adding the forward fold. 
bring the hands in front, inhale to lengthen, exhale as you fold forward. Again, you might like to keep the arms extending. You might want to bring the upper arms in front of the shins and gently draw the chest forward. The important thing isn't about getting the head towards the floor where we round in the back, but we want to think of reaching the chest forward in front of the shins. Five. Four. Keep the back of the neck nice and long. Three. Two. One. Inhale to lift up and draw the feet in and come over onto all fours. Take the hands underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips. And we'll just do a few little hip circles. So we're just circling the hips. Think of drawing the pelvis over the top of the thigh bones. So we're really trying to roll through that hip socket, a ball and socket joint. Three. Two and one, and change direction, circling the other way. Five, four, three, two, and one. Tuck the toes under. We're going to lift up into our downward dog, Ardha Mukha Svanasana. Keep the knees slightly bent. Spread the fingers nice and wide. Draw the shoulders away from the ears. Collarbones reach forward. Neck is nice and long. With the knees bent, we're going to gently walk the feet. Exhale as you take the right heel down towards the floor. Keep the left knee bent. Inhale, bending the right leg. Exhale, take the left heel down. Inhale, bending the left leg. Exhale, take the right heel down. Inhale, bending the right leg. Exhale, take the left heel down. Inhale, bending the left leg. Exhale, take the right heel down as far as you can. And let's just hold here. With the left knee, just let the knee come towards the right side. So we're not twisting the hips at all. We're keeping the hips nice and even. And it's just that the knee just gently drops towards the right leg. Should feel an increase in the stretch through the outside of your right hip. Press that right hip back. Four. Three. Two. One, gently change sides. Exhale as you bend to the right leg, work on straightening the left leg. Really press the hips, sitting bones back behind you and just let that right knee draw in. So again, we're not twisting the hips at all. We're keeping the hips nice and even. We're just letting the knee gently draw towards that left side. Press back through the shoulders, reach that left sitting bone back. Four. Three, two, one. Come back through center. Bring the right foot forward in between the hands. Come onto the left knee. We're going to draw the right foot across towards the left side of our mats. Turn the toes back and come on to the little toe side of the right foot. Make sure that the foot isn't dropping in, but we're flexing the foot and come on to the fingers. Now, for some of you, this will be enough. We really focus on the sitting bones reaching back and the chest reaching forward. It's a really nice stretch through the iliotibial band, the outside of the leg here. It might mean that that leg is still slightly bent. Some of you will be able to work on straightening that right leg. Keep the little toe side of the foot pulling back. Keep the sitting bones drawing back as the chest reaches forward. If 
you wish to go a little bit further with the toes of the left foot tucked under, lift the left knee away from the floor. Make sure that we're not rounding into the back to get there. Sitting bones reach back, chest reaches forward. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Step the right foot back. Coming back into downward dog. Left leg, bring the left leg forward. Come on to the right knee and draw the left foot towards the right side of our mat. Come on to the little toe side of the foot and pull the toes back towards you so you're flexing that left foot. Come on to the fingertips. Draw the sitting bones back as the chest reaches forward. Again, you can stay here with that left leg bent can be quite intense, that might be enough for you. If you can, you can work on trying to straighten the left leg. Now as you straighten the leg, make sure that we're not rounding into the back. Sitting bones still reach back, chest reaches forward. Nice flex, left foot, so you're pulling the toes back. That's still not enough for you with the toes of the right foot tucked under. Lift the right knee away from the floor. Sitting bones reach back as the chest reaches forward. Five. Four, three, two, one. Step the left foot back, coming back into downward dog. Take a couple of breaths here to just gently stretch out the legs. work in towards our pigeon pose. So we draw the right foot forward. Come down onto the left knee. Roll the outside of the hip back. If you can, you're going to try to sit down onto the floor. If you're a little bit lifted, you can take a blanket or a block underneath the thigh to keep it a little bit more supported. Look along the line of the left leg. Hip knee and ankle in line with each other and the foot is extending back. Slight internal rotation so the inner thigh lifts up, the outer thigh rolls down. Inhale to lift and lengthen. Exhale as we fold forward. You may just come onto the forearms. You may work on extending the arms forward, reaching the forehead towards the floor. Five. Four, three, two, one. Inhale, lifting up slightly and reach the hands across towards the right hand side. Really reach that left arm across. Think of drawing from your left hip right out through your left arm. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Inhale, lift up. Keep the left forearm onto the floor, bring the right hand onto the right knee. Inhale, lift the chest and exhale as you rotate that right shoulder up. Keep that left, right hip pressing back, rotating out of the hip. Four. Three. Two. One, exhale the hands down, tuck the toes of the left foot under and stretch back into downward dog. You might want to gently sway the hips from side to side, just releasing through the lower back 
in the waist. And left leg, bring the left foot forward. Working on drawing that left sitting bone towards the floor. Right thigh wraps around, outer hip comes down so we're not letting that leg turn out. Look along the line of the leg, hip, knee and ankle in line with each other. Try not to turn the foot in, but really extend that foot back. Inhale, lift and open. And exhale as we fold forward. Maybe just coming onto the forearms. Maybe you work on extending the arms forward. Five. Four. Three. Two. One, inhale, lift up slightly, reach that right arm across. Find that lateral stretch from that right hip, right out through the waist and right into that right arm. Five. Four. Three. Two, one. Inhale to lift up. Keep the right forearm to the floor. Bring the left hand onto the left knee. Inhale to lengthen out of the waist. Exhale as you rotate, drawing that left shoulder up towards the side. Five. Four. Keep pressing that left hip down towards the floor. Three. Two. One. Gently release. Tuck the toes of the right foot under. Stretch it back into downward dog. Take a couple of deep breaths here. Again, you might want to gently sway the hips from side to side. And then bring the knees to the floor. Untuck the toes, buttocks towards the heels and just rest into child's pose. Hands down by your sides.